Los Angeles for the premiere of Scrambled out in theaters on February 2nd. I'm Sari Cohen. Let's take a first look. My bridesmaid entrances are the stuff of legends. Ever the bridesmaid, that is my badge of honor. You feel me? I feel you. I go to weddings and baby showers every damn weekend. When are you going to give me grandkids? Talk to your firstborn about grandchildren. I don't want him procreating. No. That's a terrifying thought. Yeah, nobody wants nobody that. Nobody wants that. You did this role so beautifully. Thank you. I haven't seen it, so I'm a little like, I wonder what's sitting, what was, you know, I, I don't know how it looks. So I'm just happy to be part of it. That uh, Leah so graciously invited me, and the cast is wonderful, and she's amazing. So I was like, when I saw her like take the reins like that, I was like, this. Oh yes, this is this is fantastic. So yeah, I mean, from the first uh, in, in meeting I had with her, it was just like, all right. She's the boss in a good way. This character, now, tell me how this project came to you. Uh, uh, it, it was a, a script sent to me, and uh, I want to say it was, it was like sort of end of pandemic, and it was in town. And I thought, there's no money or anything, but I said, oh, I'll take a look at it. And boy, I, from the first scene, it was hilarious. It was moving. It was... It would, yeah, you laugh, you cry. It was, it's, it's current, so current, and uh, and so I, you know, and Leah is a huge talent that nobody knows about. I mean, you know, some cool people know about, but I sure didn't know about it because I'm too old to know about her. And so I was just thrilled that you uh, even considered that I would play her pop. So my role, I play Kyle, the nice guy, and um, he's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so, but not at first. That's a spoiler alert. Did I just spoil it all? Okay, well, anyway, he goes from zero to 100 immediately. <laughs> How did you feel being dubbed the nice guy? Oh, I loved it because it's not what you see. It's like, you know, it's all an illusion. <laughs> yeah. Like most nice guys are. <laughs> yeah, 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 apparently. Yeah. When you read the script, were you, what did you think about the character? How did you want to approach him? Well, I just, I really like um, the opportunities where I can go crazy, to be honest. And the, the comedy, the writing was so good. It was just such a flow to it where, I don't know, it got my imagination going and I love to like improvise and all that stuff. So it was like a scene that was so well written and then there was so much to like have fun with. Uh, yeah, Leah's amazing, by the way, yeah. I want you to remember, they can be a never never land, never growing up, never aging, but those eggs, they are. If I don't spend 13k to freeze my eggs, I might never be able to have kids. Meanwhile, you're going to wait till you're 70 to have a baby with an influencer. That is accurate, and I'm not embarrassed about it. Uh, well, I had received uh, the audition through my agent, and uh just read for it and um, I thought I had a, a pretty strong take on it because uh, as I was saying that uh, my wife and I actually you know been on our own fertility journey for, for a while now and so I had sat in with her on a lot of those um, uh, meetings and uh, ultrasounds with the uh, our OBGYN and so yeah it felt uh, almost natural to uh, <laughs> play this part. What were your thoughts when you read the script? Uh, I was laughing a lot and uh, just thinking, wow, I, I, I can't quite imagine how she's going to pull this off, but, uh, you know, she absolutely did. You read the script. What is it that draws you to it? I mean, oh, Leah is just like super smart. She has written the funniest script and it's so uber relatable. It's not like anything we've really ever seen on our screens. I just think I'm just so excited for her to have this major release because it means that so many people get to come and watch this and women especially. Like I was just saying earlier, it's not even if you've ever had a fertility journey of any kind. It's just like if you have a uterus, if you're, you know, just come and watch this film because it's, it, it, she is, uh, she's such an inspiration. She's definitely like one of the biggest inspira inspirations for me, just like having seen her write this and be on set with her, directing it, starring in it. I mean, this is just so cool. That's so awesome. And you 
are the women of the hour. I have to tell you, everyone has come down and just praised you for an incredible script, being an incredible director, this amazing women-led team. Like, you built this, you built this. It's really insane. I don't even, I mean, I love my cast, I love my crew, I love the people that somehow got us here. It blows my mind that anybody believed in this the way that they have. I just, it was this deeply, deeply personal, it was my story of freezing my eggs, but I knew that if I, if I built it, they would come. I knew that deep down, and I thought when I said they, it would be like some girlfriends. <laughs> like maybe a few chicks would like be like, I froze my eggs too, and I get it, but I didn't think it would ever reach this level, so I feel really um, affirmed. I'm either going through a renaissance or amidst the worst crisis of my lifetime. Here we go. Down here, you look like, I'd say... Virgin? <laughs> Definitely not. Okay.